morning, Park View Pandas. This is Addison. And Stephanie. <laughs> November is National Aviation Day, History Month. Um, aviation involves the development and operation of aircraft that weighs heavier than air. Airplanes are the main way people travel through the air, but there's also helicopters, rockets, and gliders, and hot air balloons. For a long time, people flew in, uh, in balloon and gliders, but on December 17, 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright succeeded in having an air machine fly above the ground for 12 seconds. Since then, many changes have been made so that airplanes can fly longer, faster, and with heavier loads. There are airplanes for many different purposes, such as fighting forest fires, shipping mail and boxes, shipping mail and boxes, moving sick people, and training pilots. The military has planes for fighting, moving troops and equipment, and gathering information from the air. There's certainly a lot to learn about aviation. Miss Christ Christina would like to share a mindful moment. Hello, Parkview. It is time for another mindful moment. I invite you to take a seat if you are not sitting. Continue to eat that breakfast or do what you need to do to take care of yourselves. Just take a moment to check in with your breathing. Let's all take that moment because there's been a lot of things happening in our world, a lot of energy surrounding us, and we need to take care of ourselves and take care of our hearts. And one way we do that is by pausing to breathe. So when you are ready, we will practice this practice called Reflection Pond. You can see there's a child looking into a pond. It looks like a mirror, kind of looking back and forth at himself. So we're going to just practice some visualization and breathing and create our own reflection pond. So as you're in your seats, if you gently rock back and forth, feel yourself sitting in the chair. Take a breath in and feel your spine tall and strong and let your shoulders drop in a comfortable position. Place the crown on your head like the tall, proud kings and queens that you are. And just check in to see if any part of your body is feeling tense or has a lot of energy. And just notice it. You can scrunch up your shoulders and let them fall. And when you're ready, you can gently close your eyes or find a spot to gaze gently upon in front of you. And we'll take three deep breaths together. Soft, slow, mindful breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And out. Last one. Imagine you are in a forest with tall trees. You hear the birds chirping in the trees and the squirrels running across the fallen leaves on the ground. Imagine yourself sitting in front of a small pond where the water is still. When you look in the pond, you can see the reflection of yourself and the trees in the background in that clear, clear water. What else do you see? Do you see that image of yourself reflected in the water too? Maybe you can see those birds in the clouds up above. Imagine now dropping a pebble into the pond. See the ripples in the water. Keep noticing when the water becomes still. 
gently open your eyes. And when you are opening your eyes, gently maybe rub your fingertips together. Rub your hands together. Notice any differences in the room around you. Maybe take a deep stretch and let out a deep breath. And take good care of yourselves today and every day. And remember to look for the still water, the still pond, anytime you need to feel calm. The stillness is always there. Take good care. Thank you, Miss Christina. We're signing. We're, we're signing, signing off, off from, from the CNN, CNN News. News. Have, Have a, a wonderful day, day Parkview Pandas. Let's, Let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.